you most about the, def the defense? Uh, the athleticism of that defense is, is very, very good. What they do, um, they do extremely well, and they have the players that uh, have the ability to do that. Um, you know, you look at them, and obviously with some of their defensive backs, they play quite a bit more man coverage than I think uh, the majority of teams that we do see. And their ability to play man coverage, get right up in your wider series faces, and do the things that they do is, is pretty impressive. And uh, um, we watched it the other day, and obviously their head coach is one of the best to ever do it. Um, you know, you look at the technique, and there's two or three guys in press coverage. They all look the same, you know, as far as their technique, their foot patterns, when they're using their hands. And it's really impressive. Obviously, Travis Hunter is, I guess, the big talk. He plays both ways. Uh, what have you seen from him on the defensive side of the ball, and what challenges does he present as a cornerback? Well, I think the easy thing to talk about when you see Travis is, what kind of football player he really is. The more you study his film, you can see how smart of a football player he is. You can see um, that he is a guy who really, really studies the game. Uh, some of the techniques that he uses, I don't think a lot of corners in this country can get away with. And because of the type of player that he is, because of what I would anticipate the type of preparation that he puts forth. Um, he, he just makes some phenomenal plays where, uh, you know, there's a pick against uh, Baylor where I thought that was is good of a, or excuse me, against uh, um, Central Florida, I believe that was as good of a pick as I've seen. And um, he just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. It was kind of a wow. What kind of week did the offense have practice-wise? It was a good week of practice, you know, and obviously you get back from a little bit of a break. Um, there was some excitement, and then as we got into the lion's share of our game plan, um, you know, there was some mistakes that we had on Tuesday, but I think that's very typical within a normal week of preparation and got those mistakes cleaned up yesterday and need to come out today and have a real fast, confident practice coming off the field today, Thursday. Just with uh, any noise. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, you can look at our performances, and I think that's a big challenge that Coach Kleinman has said, and it's a big challenge that we're going to continue to echo. We have not played our best football on the road, if you look at our two road games. And it's something that we need to continue to work towards is, you know, whatever may be the distraction, maybe getting out of a normal routine that happens when you get on the road. Um, if you want to be a very successful football team, you have to go perform very well on the road. And that's what I'm excited about uh, here this Saturday night. I know you mentioned uh, two weeks ago before BYU how important it was to limit those pre-snap penalties and those procedural penalties. Uh, how do you sort of make sure that those guys, uh, especially along the offensive line, just clean that up? Yeah, it's, it's one of the things where we just need to be that much more detailed. And... You know, <laughs> you hear our head coach say blocking out the noise, but really just focusing and saying, okay, snap count, alignment, assignment, coming right back to that snap count. And so that's that's been something that has been discussed, certainly, even you go back a week ago, whether you're at home or whether you're on the road. And uh, I know this is going to be a sold-out crowd in another night game, and those fans certainly have a lot to cheer about, and I would anticipate that they're going to be a pretty raucous bunch. Notice their defensive line is incredibly aggressive in their own fits, and I think that's probably just a goal of trying to get as many big plays as possible on defense. Uh, what have you seen from that? Defense? Yeah, what you see is a ton of athleticism, a ton of activity. Um, guys who who hold up really well on double teams, um, and you know I know that they have a linebacker who each consecutive week he's new to the football program, was not with them a year ago. And each consecutive week has just become better and better within that system. So from the entirety of the, the their front seven, you know, I think the easy thing to do is to talk about the back end. Uh, but what they, the aggressiveness in which they play, how fast they play, 
I'm, I'm really impressed with how hard they play, you know, how they pursue to the ball and how well they get off of blocks. And it's, it's really a credit to, to those players and that coach and staff. Did it do anything in particular to UCF to take away their run as effectively as they did? Yeah, it, it was interesting. I, I do think um, maybe they gave some different looks that they hadn't given in previous weeks. Uh, I thought they mixed it up and, and against UCF maybe played a little bit more interestingly enough. Um, a little bit more zone coverage and, and some of the things that they had not done. And, and even with that zone coverage where you're like, gosh, they're a little bit short to the fit, I think it's a credit to their front seven that you're sitting there going, gosh, well, you got a hat for this guy, a hat for this guy, and boy, oh, boy, that's a three-yard gain. And, and I, I think it's their coach's um, confidence, and rightfully so, in, in their front seven to get the job done without bringing, quote, unquote, maybe an extra hat or an extra two hats down into the fit. Another defensive coordinator comes from the NFL where he spent close to, I think, 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see sort of NFL tendencies in how they run that defense, or has yes. he simplified it to a, a more college? No, you, you, you can see a lot of the similarities to an NFL defense. You really can in some of the man techniques that they play, um, as long as uh, some of their pressure package that you see, I think, is very evident of what you'd see on a Sundays. Um, and... Uh, um, than even what they're doing in zone coverage. Uh, you know, in, in balancing all of that, um, you can see a, a really heavy dose of that NFL influence from not only him, but the, re, uh, the rest of their, or their coaching staff.